Hey everyone, this is Judy with JLB Crafts. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, thank you so much for giving me a try. In this video, I'm going to flip through all my February spreads. Now, I'm all moved in for March, so it's time to go ahead and flip through all my February spreads. Um, I forgot to include flip through of January in my Skinny Classic, which I'm using as my work log. So we will go all the way back to the beginning of January for this one. So let's get started. Let's do that first. So I did change the discs out on this planner. I have classic size black metal discs. I knew as the year went on, you, um, I wanted to keep all 12 months in here, and I knew that it would start to get a little thick. Plus I like metal discs as opposed to plastic. So I did change out to black cause I thought it went really well with the cover. Um, I have yet to make any covers or anything special for this planner. So, um, but that's probably coming because I love this planner way more than I thought I would. I'm using it a lot. And so it is definitely sticking around and will be in my lineup moving forward for sure. So I don't use the goals, well, currently page, whatever you want to call it. I don't use this page. I also don't use the monthly view, so I just frank and plan those together. Um, so here is my very first spread. This was actually the very end of December into January. Um, I really wasn't sure how it was, how I would want boxes and things on this, so I did do a checklist and some other things. This was a Sticker Guru sticker kit, the, um, Happy New Year sticker kit. So just, and then after using this, I kind of got a feel for just how I would like jot stuff down. So here I used um, the, these, this is the home body, one of the home body books because I, I knew these boxes would fit well in here. And so um, I tried to pick ones that had like lines and stuff. I'm pretty happy with this one. Then I went into my very first spread where I used um, uh, Mojo Jojo Plans boxes and love, love, love this one. I, I, I am addicted to lots and lots of boxes. So I try to give myself about four spaces on each day. I don't always use them. Day off, groceries, movie night. <laughs> so just a little note why I didn't end up doing any um, social media work activities, you know. Um, at this point I have not moved my manicures into it yet, but I did move my manicures in here. So, um, and then here was, um, again, another one, just loving the boxes again. Here we go. Here's, here's a manicure. So one of the main reasons I note my manicure and my nail polish, there's another one is, um, so that I can tell you what nail polish I'm wearing in a video because I do get that question. And so it just makes a lot of sense for me to have that information here because this is the order in real life in the world that things happen. And this way I can see where I record or film Wellness and Skinny. I did this manicure the day before. So I know this is the nail polish I was wearing in those videos. Um, so it just absolutely makes sense. But as you can see, it doesn't, I had to do something to make that stand out a little more. So I started actually highlighting that. It's not here yet, but this is an evolving process, right? So I'm just trying to kind of give you um, a better feel for how uh, my, my brain works, what I do with what I've learned and how I move forward from there. So um, yeah, so here's the last January spread. Again, I see manicure here, but um, if I, my eyes hadn't landed on it, same thing over here, I, I, I would have been searching for it. So, and as you can see, I don't always use all the space, but um, that's okay, I'm using it a lot. So here, <laughs> I we got our COVID boosters and my arm was so, so sore. And this one, it felt like I had marbles in on my armpit on that side. So, cause we got COVID booster and flu shot and wow, that was a lot. <laughs> so I didn't get a whole lot done those days, but that's quite all right. That was kind of expected. So, and that was it, that was January. So let's get into February now. So this was coffee here. Um, so you can see edited, filmed, um, and I guess I kind of was working left to right because obviously I had to film before I could edit. And the bigger space for me, like when I say to you, I'm going to try to remember to link something in the cards up above, this is how I notate that, right? So as I'm editing, I, I come across something I want to know and I put the time on there. Um, and that's, so I couldn't remember if I said I would note something in this one. So I left myself a box just in case, but as it turns out, I didn't. There's another manicure there. Here I took the day off and went and run, ran around a lot. So yeah. 
Second week, this was, looks like pizza day. So, um, yeah. Again, lots of stuff. Again, I, I manicure right there, but it was hard to find. Here is obviously a day off. I was, this is the Megan Quinn book I was reading and I would appear, I gave myself the day off and just spent the entire day reading um, that book, Jason and Dottie. That was, that was a good one. So, um, yeah. Here was my Valentine's Day spread. Um, it was Love Notes, I think was the uh, uh, subject. And so here you can see the first week where I decided to go ahead and highlight manicure because when I'm editing, that's the kind of thing I'm looking for um, was what, what nail polish did I have on. And so that, that um, is out of order of the workflow. So like it could even be, you know, Monday, Tuesday, I'm looking for what man, when was the last time I had a manicure? So I've started highlighting that just picking a, a mild liner that matches the, um, the spread stickers. Here was the third week in February and this was windows. And here you can see more highlighting. Um, did I really only do one manicure that week? looks like it. Wow. Oh, that one must have lasted really well. Um, and then, yeah, so that was it. That was the last, is that the last week in February? It was. All right. And so now we're up to March. This was last week. I know I'm not supposed to show you this one yet, but <laughs> anyway, there we go. So let's go ahead and go to my classic. So first of all, so I have my transformer all set up, but definitely going with the Sakura vibes. This video posted yesterday. So if you want to see my transformer set up and move in, uh, check out yesterday. So here was my February monthly view. And again, I say this, I sometimes I forget to say it. Every single thing you see in here, um, aside from me actually writing with a pen, that is all on my social media. There's a video for almost everything. Um, there's a, a, an after the pen for uh, a couple different spreads. Um, so you can find everything. If you want to see how I set this page up, it is there. Okay. So here was the first week in February. I had the last couple days of January in it. This again, looks like a, I think this one wasn't coffee. This was more like hot beverage or something. So I've got like the hot cocoa. It might've even been hot chocolate day. I don't remember. So here was some overlap when I was moving my manicures over. So just because this sticker is, uh, no, not that one. Here we go. This is the manicure. Just because the sticker is on Sunday doesn't mean it happened on Sunday. Cause I can't predict that I use a peel off base coat and I can see when, um, the polish is starting to lift like this one's starting to lift. And so then I will need to, depending on how long I can milk this manicure, um, the next day, or usually while I'm editing, I'm manicuring cause my hands on the mouse and it doesn't, you know, get smeared or anything. So, but anyway, it just, um, makes more sense to have moved that to my skinny. So here was, uh, this was a collaboration, I believe with Lori Dean plans. Um, and this was use, it was the subject was pink and gray or no, we had decided, um, she found sticker guru, I, th I believe through me. And so we decided we would take a kit that we both had purchased that we both had, and we would each do our own take on it. And that was all the restriction. Like we didn't say it was going to be a vertical or a wellness or a dashboard. We just said, this is the week we're both going to use this kit. And, um, so yeah, so if you want to see my video, it's there. If you want to see her video, you can check hers out. Just look for the week of February 6th. And she used the same sticker kit, but um, her own way. So here was, what was, oh, Valentine's Day. So wine, um, my sister was born on Valentine's Day, which much to her chagrin, <laughs> but this was fun. Check out this video because I actually did um, the how, show the process of making these watercolor stickers. Um, I, I just used like a 99 cent back to school watercolor thing and painted the rim of a glass and stamped it on white sticker paper and then cut them out and stuck them. So if you want to see that, check out that video. Um, and then here was pet day, which you all know, my regulars especially know I'm a cat lady. So I had found this artist on Instagram a long time ago. Um, I think I have it linked in the description box, uh, but, uh, love the stuff. Love like these little, these mountains are like little cat silhouettes. 
Same thing here. This is a little cat. The cat in the moon. So I just picked... Oh, and the other... Um, I combined that theme with one that was, I think it was pink and orange. So I went through and tried to pick stuff that had a lot of pinks and oranges in it. And it's fun. I like the way, I just like the circles on top of the squares, the mixture that turned out pretty cute. And that was it. So that's my, that was my catch all planner. Let's go ahead and go to my social media planner, which is my dashboard. So here's my monthly. Um, you can see all my videos. I'm probably going to have a couple days later in February, in March where I skip a day or don't do a video because doing a video every single day is a lot. Um, it's just, it's a lot. So I'm, I'm thinking I won't probably, I'll take a couple days. So don't be shocked if there's a day without a video. Don't be concerned. Everything is fine. <laughs> I'm just going to try to be a little kinder to myself. So here is my challenge tracker page. Lots and lots of pink. Again, there's a video for setting this up. Here's my first week. Um, beautiful winter bird, ripped scrapbook paper. So here we can see all my different themes. Pink and gray was vertical. Yep, sticker glue collaboration. Um, so here you can see next week, vintage was my theme in my dashboard. Tiger was quote. So we're going to go through all that. But so here was my vintage spread and I actually did, I have an unboxing for all of this stuff from um, uh, AliExpress. I went crazy and found a shop that had tons and tons of vintage stickers and bought a bunch. I had fun with my little stamps. I even used them here. I didn't think to do that until after the video, but um, that was so super fun. I really enjoyed that. I love vintage spreads. And then here was Valentine's Day. So this was a big group collab um, with a bunch of people. Lori Dean Plans put that together. And our only restriction was it had to be the week of Valentine's Day and it had to be Valentine's spread. So there you go. Um, these are Calava Plan stickers. And then Mardi Gras, obviously. And for this one, I used, um, I mean, I used a couple box stickers from Mojo Jojo Plans, but the big thing was using markers. So the Mardi Gras beads as my bullet points, I did that all with some markers and I showed that. So that was fun. That was a fun one. Um, it was all about, you know, how to make a spread if you don't actually have stickers. So this was mostly decoratively, mostly washi and um, pens. And that, and that's that. That is February in my dashboard planner. So next, let's go ahead and transform. And we'll go ahead and go to February in my wellness planner. So here is my monthly view for February. Um, I just use this for theme or for um, symptoms. And I don't, sometimes I write a lot. Sometimes I don't write very, write very much at all. It looks like the only thing I wrote here I tore my rotator cuff in um, college skiing and I, it never really healed right. So every once in a while, my shoulder just really, really bugs me. It feels like somebody's stabbing me. And so that was acting up on the 23rd, but that is it for that. So, but the space is there if I need it. Um, and as I'm getting older, new things are starting to pop up and it's good to know when, <laughs> when those things happened. So here is my first week in February spread. Pink and green, I believe, was the subject. Um, and you're going to see, like, no journaling. Here's my memory of the week, but almost no journaling because I just have been wanting to read. Um, and that is totally okay with me because if I force myself to do something that I really just am not feeling, that I'm not wanting to do, I'm going to start to resent it and hate it. And then, um, you know, it's all going to be painful. So, um, it's there though, if I do need it, if I have a bad day or if I start, you know, if we're going through something, it's there if I need it. So I'd rather have it be there if I need it and not need it than force myself to use it and hate it. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? I hope it does. I think it does. All right. So second week, this was, oh, this was the, um, new sticker guru kit, um, into the wild which is a replay on one of their very, very, very first kits, which I also love, but just loving the teals and the blues. Green's my favorite color, but blue is a very close second and combining it with that teal, just so super pretty. And here I did journal some. I think I was trying to force myself. And after that week I was like, 
you know what? Don't end up hating it. So, um, oh, two weeks. Okay. <laughs> this one, I believe the, the the theme on this one was red. It looks like red and blue because I have red and blue and red and blue. So, um, yeah. And then here, I, this must have been where I was like, nope, not doing it. <laughs> Don't want to hate it. So, but anyway, this was, um, I think this was Huga Life or something like that. These are some of the pl Kellival Plant stickers. Love this. I love earth tones. Um, so really love using brown and stuff. So, and that was it for February. So last but not least, let's go to my inspirational quotes. So don't, again, use the monthly view on this one. So I just franken plan those together. But you could absolutely, if you're working on hand lettering, write your letter assignments on the monthly view. Um, you could also do like gratitude there and just write a word each day that's something you're thankful for. So just some thoughts, but I, I'm, not, I'm not doing that because I do that in my wellness. Um, so this spread is actually, this is 2022. Um, so I didn't end up using my horizontal spreads in 2022. I kept doing them because I really do enjoy doing them. But my hand lettering on Sunday and hand lettering this was too much. So I am reusing them this year, which is super, super fun because I take a look at the stickers and I just see if I can figure out what the theme was that I was going for, which is fun. I've, I've started looking it up just to make sure I don't miss it, but obviously this one was like smiles or emoticons or whatever. So here's my theme and then here are all of my quotes. So super fun, loving it. This one was obviously, this was 2022 was the year of the tiger. So this was my um, Lunar New Year spread with the tiger. Uh, puppy love. So at first I thought this was like pet day or something. And then it kind of dawned on me that only puppies, only dogs here. There were no cats. And so then I double checked it and, and absolutely, yes, it was puppy love. So and tried to go with kind of a rainbow with the stickers. That was the other thing I discovered as I was looking back at this a year later. And um, so it was really super fun to match the colors of the pens. Um, loved that. And then last but not least, obviously we got squad girls. So I just put like squad. A lot of these ended up being more like team, like together everyone achieves more team. Um, but it was fun. I, I had fun looking up. I, I really liked spending a little bit of time each week looking up inspirational quotes. So, so that is it. That is everything. We are back around. I can transform again and have my catch-all planner back out. So I hope you like this video. I hope it encourages you to take some time to reflect back. Um, it doesn't have to be super, super far. Although I was looking back at my very, very first planner from before I had a YouTube channel or anything, um, when I very first discovered um, Happy Planner several years ago, and boy was that a blast. My style has changed so, so much. So anyway, if you like this video, please do consider liking, subscribing, dropping me a smiley face or, or a word or two. All those interactions with my videos help me with the YouTube algorithm and are a great way to support me. Thank you!